Hi everyone, welcome back to Celebrity Entertainment USA, the channel where we bring you the hottest gossip and drama from Hollywood and beyond. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the shocking news that TikTok has pulled music by stars like Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and Olivia Rodrigo from its platform. What does this mean for the artists and their fans? And how did this feud between TikTok and Universal Music Group start? Let's find out. TikTok is one of the most popular social media apps in the world, with over a billion users who create and watch short videos with music, filters, and effects. Many artists have used TikTok to promote their songs and reach new audiences, especially during the pandemic when live concerts were cancelled. Some of the biggest hits of the past year, such as Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo, Blinding Lights by The Weeknd, and Willow by Taylor Swift, owe a lot of their success to the viral trends and challenges that TikTok users created with them. However, on Wednesday, February 1st, TikTok users noticed that they could no longer use music by these artists and many others on their videos. All videos that had UMG music on them were muted, and new videos could not be made with those tracks. Some artists, such as Ariana Grande and Katy Perry, had most of their music disappear from their official pages, except for a few songs that were on other labels. Billie Eilish, another UMG artist, had all but one of her songs taken down. Her song, What Was I Made For, was featured in the Barbie movie, whose soundtrack was published by Warner Music Group. So, what happened? Well, it turns out that TikTok and UMG had a licensing agreement that allowed TikTok to use UMG's music catalog, which includes some of the biggest names in the industry. However, that agreement expired on January 31st, and the two parties could not reach a new deal before the deadline. In an open letter, published on January 30th, UMG claimed that, ultimately TikTok is trying to build a music-based business, without paying fair value for the music. UMG said that TikTok wanted to pay a fraction of the rate that other social media sites do for access to its songs. UMG also said that it was concerned about getting artists fair compensation for AI-generated songs that sound like real artists, such as one that sounded like Drake and The Weeknd that went viral. It also had issues with TikTok's content moderation, saying that it failed to adequately deal with the tidal wave of hate speech, bigotry, bullying and harassment on the platform. TikTok responded by saying that it is sad and disappointing that Universal Music Group has put their own greed above the interests of their artists and songwriters. TikTok accused UMG of presenting a false narrative and rhetoric, and said that it was willing to negotiate a fair and reasonable deal that would benefit both sides. TikTok also said that it was a powerful support and discovery vehicle for UMG's talent, and that it had invested millions of dollars in promoting and marketing their music. The dispute between TikTok and UMG has sparked a lot of reactions from fans and artists alike. Some fans have expressed their frustration and anger at not being able to use their favorite songs on TikTok, and have urged the two companies to resolve their differences as soon as possible. Some fans have also shown their support for the artists by streaming their music on other platforms, such as Spotify and Apple Music. Some artists have also spoken out about the situation, either directly or indirectly. For example, Taylor Swift posted a video on her Instagram story, where she thanked her fans for making her album Evermore the number one album in the US for the third week in a row. She also said that she was really grateful to anyone who listens to my music in any way that they can. Some fans interpreted this as a subtle dig at TikTok for removing her music. The Weeknd also tweeted a cryptic message, saying, I guess we'll see you on the other side. Some fans speculated that this meant that he was leaving TikTok for good, or that he was working on a new project that would be released on a different platform. The situation between TikTok and UMG is still developing, and there is no clear indication of when or how it will be resolved. Some experts have said that this could be a turning point for the music industry, as it raises questions about the value and power of music in the digital age. Some have also said that this could be an opportunity for other platforms, such as Triller, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, to attract more users and artists who are looking for alternatives to TikTok. However, some have also said that this could be a temporary setback, and that TikTok and UMG will eventually reach a new agreement that will restore the music to the platform. What do you think about this drama? Are you on Team TikTok or Team UMG? How do you feel about not being able to use UMG's music on TikTok? And what do you think will happen next? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more celebrity news and updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Celebrity Entertainment USA.